Hey guys, you're watching Dirt Bike Channel. I'm your host Kyle Brotherson and today we're gonna to be talking about this Honda CRF 110F. Stick around. But it's a good little bike. What can I say about the Honda CRF 110F? That is the bike right here in this shot. And I've brought in the Honda CRF 50F over there so you can get a little bit of a size comparison. The Honda 50 I think is a fantastic learner bike and they're not too expensive and they're plentifully found. The next step up from that bike is a little bit harder to find. And one of the bikes that I found for my kids was this Honda 110F. And specifically, I've got this for my 11 and 12 year old daughter. This bike is actually quite a bit heavier than that little 50 over there. And they're quite a bit taller actually. They're quite a bit wider as far as the bike width wise this way. It's kind of like they put a lawn tractor motor in, in, these, in these bikes and so it makes them actually quite heavy and that's my biggest complaint is that this bike is heavy and wide it actually isn't any taller um, than the ktm 50s like the 50 sx, Jun SX juniors i ended up getting a ktm 50 a used uh, ktm 50 for one of my boys I've, i bought all these bikes these kids bike used kids bikes used um, and, and i've been testing them out and seeing which works and which doesn't Let's start with some of the good points though. Um, but it's got four gears. You don't need a clutch. Um, Kaylee is 11 and she fits that bike really well. She's, she's very good on it and she's very comfortable. It's got electric start and a kick start. One of the really cool things about this bike is it has electric start. So right up here, you've got a key and you'll be able to go boom and hit the electric start. It didn't start right now because my kids left the key on the last time we went riding, but uh, once I get the battery charged back up, it will start. So that's a good news. And it also has a backup kick starter right here. So in case your battery goes dead, boom, you can just kick the thing over and, and it runs that way. Another nice thing about this bike being the next bike up from the little Honda 50s is that they don't need to sh they don't need to use a clutch. It does shift and it has four it's got four gears and this bike has a lot more power than the 50. Uh, this 110F will pull me a lot better. And if I'm just going to ride if I just need to go grab the kids around in the neighborhood, I used to do do that on the 50s. Now I'll jump on this 110 because it's so much more comfortable as an adult to ride it around the neighborhood. Not that you wanted to know that, it's just that this is my choice of a bike to go grab a kid if I'm in the neighborhood. So they don't need to use a clutch. It does have a four speed transmission and it is actually quite powerful and it's got a lot of torque so it can pull them around. Other things are it's got a bigger, it's got bigger tires than the 50s and so that's a plus. It ends up handling the bumps a little bit better, a little bit better that way. Honda used to actually make this in a 70 size. Uh, but it was basically, it was the same frame from everything that I know. And so they just discontinued the 70 uh, and, and just went all in on the 110. Um, and so if you've seen Honda 70s, CRF 70Fs, it's basically exactly the same bike as the 110. It was pretty much redundant because it was just a smaller motor uh, with the same size frame and everything is, as far as I know. And so they discontinued that. So another thing to like about this bike is that it's reliable Honda motors. It's an, it's an air cooled motor and the Honda motors run forever, you know, very, very reliable that way. So it's going to be low maintenance and it's going to go for millennia. Something I don't like about this bike is how wide the mo the engine case is. This part of your engine is so wide it actually sticks out into the adjacent county next to the one that you're riding in. So you may need to get some permits for a wide load. That's prob that's a downer. Like I said before, this motor is kind of like a, tra a lawn tractor motor <laughs> that they adapted to this bike. So it's going to be very um, it's going to be very reliable, but it's just really really wide, and it makes the footprint of this bike quite wide. Not only that, I mean, you're, you know, when you put, get, your, get your butt on it, not only that, but the seat is actually quite wide up here. So even though the bike isn't a ton taller than, than the little 50 right here next to it, I'll roll this into the shot. 
Um, the 50 here has a much, it has a narrower seat and then the engine isn't nearly as wide on the 50. And so that makes the 50 a lot easier, a lot easier for kids to be able to reach and touch the ground because they're not having to reach out. They don't have to have their legs so wide to reach over the spike and get down to the ground. So even though the seat height isn't super high, um, it ends up being high, quite high in practice. Let's go ahead and see how much this thing actually weighs. Okay, time to see how much this thing weighs. I can tell you right now, but the dang thing is heavy. It is kind of a heavy pig. Let's get this thing to stand here. See that? It's 161.5 pounds, and that's probably my biggest complaint is that the thing is kind of a pig uh, for how big it is. Uh, I think it should be quite a bit lighter than that. And man, a lot of the other bikes, as far as like a, uh, the bikes that are about this tall, as far as the two strokes, like the KTM 65s and the, and the uh, KX 65s, they're quite a bit lighter than this. This bike is hard for a kid to pick up, very, very hard. And that's a little bit of a downer. Just by way of comparison, this is the Honda 50F. So it's 111 pounds, which is 50 pounds lighter than those uh, 110s. You've got drum brakes. The brakes are okay as far as just for a trail riding perspective. It's a drum brake on the front uh, that's fairly easily adjustable and it's a drum brake on the back. Um, you're not gonna win any races on, on this bike and it isn't a race bike. This is a trail bike and it's a good option if you just wanna get out there and, and teach your kids how to ride and uh, get something that isn't too scary and isn't gonna be too fast. Although this bike probably will go about 40, uh, 40 miles an hour, maybe even 45 if you were pinned in fourth gear. So it's not a race bike, it's a trail bike. And it does what it's designed to do actually quite well. Honda hasn't redesigned these things for like a hundred years. They kind of get on something that works and then they just sort of leave them there forever and ever. And that's been their motto. I actually like this bike. It works really well for my daughter. It doesn't work very well for my boys. My boys are more aggressive and they want to ride more aggressive and they want to be more aggressive on their bikes. And so this isn't really a great option for my boys. It's good for my daughter but not so much for the boys. When kids are starting out, they need a bike that isn't scary, you know, that's predictable, that doesn't have a ton of power, and that's exactly what these Hondas do. I've got one of my boys up there that's on a, uh, a KTM 50, an older one, um, and it's, it's definitely a lot more lively. These Hondas, I like them because they are a four-stroke bike, it's air-cooled, uh, the maintenance is, is next to nothing. You gotta change the oil, change the air filter, but they're very good, they're very bulletproof, and it's just a good bike for kids to learn on. And 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 as long as, you know, with, with them not being scary and not having too much power, the kids seem to do pretty good on those. Um, if your kid's not into racing, uh, this is a, you know, this is a great way to get them out there and have a lot of fun on one of these Hondas um, and, and just have a good time as a family. And that's what we try to do. So uh, we've been running a bunch of little Honda bikes. You can see here's our crew. Let me see which way we want to go. There's the little KTM 50. That's an 08. There's one of my boys on a 50. That's one of Sam's boys on a 50. And then Kaylee here on the 110, my daughter. And we've got other kids behind us on various bikes. Hey guys, if you didn't already know, Patreon is the best way to support Dirt Bike Channel. We've got some really cool rewards over there. So click on the link up here that you see to become a patron. That'll take you directly to our site and you can check everything out. Uh, you can donate as little as $1 per month and it would really, really help us out. Thanks a ton, guys.